Hey guys, this is FDMI Fish. I just wanted to give you a real time demo of the UAV locator on initial power up. Uh, how long it takes uh, for it to get onto the system. So here's my iPhone, here's my daughter's iPod. I'm going to use that as a real time timer. Um, so here is the power button. And what the instructions say is to hit this power button for about three seconds and you're going to get um, some flashing lights. So I'm going to start hit the power button for about three seconds. And we'll see how long it takes my initial email to come in. that says the units are online now I'm in front of my house this is where I do 95 percent of my flying uh, so this is where I wanted to work most I know my flights are my flight videos can be boring they're mostly of my kids on the trampoline or playing in the backyard but once in a while I'll give you some of this or some of this but it's mostly here in the mountains and this is where I wanted to work okay so it's about a minute and ten seconds no text message no email yet I'll just keep okay here it goes okay so I got a notification saying that the unit has been initialized okay so it took about a minute and a half which is okay not bad so I could turn it on Tom I put the my phantom on the ground then go through my uh, checks and balances and getting the GoPro on and getting a GPS lock that's not bad you know what let me just turn my audio on I had this on silent <clears throat> okay so that took about a minute and a half okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push the SOS button right now okay Let's see what the, how we do with that. And I am in front of my house, right in front of my garage. You've got mail. Okay, 32 seconds. SOS location 18 Pass Street. I mean, that is my address. I mean, how accurate? <clears throat> I mean, it's that's within feet. I don't know, what did that open? I don't know what app that opened up in. Like Google. Google Earth? Where'd that open it? That's in the text also? No text on the SOS. Just an email. Okay. So let's reset this. And let's go to the phone and let's dial the UAV locator. The subscriber you have dialed is not available or has traveled outside the coverage area. Please try your call again later. Message. 
Okay. So let's again, let's wait for an email to come in. Ooh. That was a quick text. We're going to get an email with it. Yeah, sometimes I get both, sometimes I only get one or the other. I really don't care as long as I get something. So it was 23 seconds. Let's see what it says. Again, it gives me an address. That is my home address. And the green arrow is supposed to be where I am. And in reality, I am right at the corner. So I am about within, I'd say about 20 feet of that green arrow. All right, so outside in a clear view, uh, it, it is much better. The time is fairly good. Um, I'm now going to take a ride uh, just down the block to another location and we'll give this another test. Okay, and for my final test now, I'm uh, pretty much sitting at the corner of uh, Chi Street, Orchard Road, State Road, they all come together. And I guess what we'll start with now is we'll start by dialing. And as you can see, I have, I have 4G LTE coverage here. So what we'll do is we'll start by calling the UAV locator. The subscriber you have dialed is not available or has traveled outside the coverage area. Please try your call again later. Message PA1. Okay, You've got mail. Wow. So, just about 25 seconds, I got both an email and a text. Orchard Road. Let's see what it shows me on the map. Alright, the pin's putting me here. I'm. That's my cell phone, so that's a better location, my cell phone. The pin's a little off, but I don't know what app that's opening me up in. Let me see the text message. Um, Alright. Okay, so yeah, the text message is dead on. You can see the green arrow was right where my cell phone is, and I, I mean that's that is exactly where I'm parked, just a few feet back from the corner, and that's where it sees my phone also. So I, that is dead on, 24 seconds. So that is really good, really well. So let's let me get rid of these uh, the messages here. And I'll reset that there. Yeah, I don't know. You know, this is giving me an address. Well, maybe after if I click down here, that, that opens up the Google Maps. Or that opens Google Maps up. The other one opened up like a Google Earth or something. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's dead on. All right. So that's something interesting. All right, so that's dead on. So when you look at that email... There's like two links in here. One was an actual like an address, and then one was the uh, Google Maps address. Um, okay, so that's that's great. And uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll hit the SOS button right now. Okay, SOS was hit, and we'll see how long that takes to come in. And again, I would just use the SOS button to test that the unit is working prior to flight, in lieu of calling it. Huh. 
Nothing yet. You've got mail. Okay, got 49 seconds. There's the SOS. And again, it, has a, it comes up with an address, but the bottom is the Google Maps. So let me open up the Google Maps link. I mean, I didn't move it all, so it should be giving me uh, basically the same location. I guess, yeah, it's right where I am. I guess if you look close enough, right behind the A, which is me, is the track with the little green arrow. It's hard to see, but it is there right behind me and that's basically right why I am so so the UAV locator is accurate um, you know it just needs to see a clear sky I guess uh, another test I could do later on is I'll take it uh, into some wooded area uh, and see how it performs there okay great all right, we're in some brush. We're about uh, 200 feet in, and what's going to happen now is I'm going to try to call the Phantom, call the UAV locator, and we'll see how it does. Subscriber you have dialed is not available or has traveled outside the coverage area. Please try your call again later. Okay. So let's see uh, how she does. And I'll show you where we are. Whoa, okay. 30 seconds, not bad. Let's see. It's probably just going to show us trees, which is fine. See here, let's no, that's not what I want. Layers, let's see, satellite, I guess. Okay, um, that green arrow is definitely where the uh, where the phantom is. It's the property behind my house. And uh, that's about 100 feet, 150 feet into the brush. So that's pretty much dead on. And uh, I'm going to turn the camera around now just to show you where, where I am compared to my house. Okay. So bear with me a second here. Okay. So... I don't know if you can see, there's, my house is back there, that's the property line, no oh, there's the property, you probably can't see much of it, it's hard to see I'm guessing, alright but, there's my down phantom, right there with the UAV locator on it, can you see that? And I had to use my ATV to retrieve it. Okay. And this is what the brush looks like around here. So I consider this pretty heavy brush. And this is, uh, I would consider this to be the worst case scenario where your phantom might land this is pretty heavy back here uh, but that UEV locator is uh, is accurate so I definitely feel comfortable using it so here it is UAV locator it's good to go